Okay, we went to the thrift store, and this is the antique mall next to it. Look at this crap. Why? Why? It's an actual night's outfit on a horse. Why? Hey, hi, it's okay. It is Sunday evening. Um, we went to town. Hey, honey, we went to town. No, well, we did. Um, we went and had Chinese for lunch. We went to the thrift store. I had to get some shirts that button up. Um, I knew I was going to have to wear a button up shirt for my surgery date. And I had a treatment yesterday, and my infusion nurse, her daughter, had the same surgery basically I'm going for. Her daughter's wasn't torn, mine's torn. So mine's gonna be a little bit more detailed than hers, but same premise, same doctor. He's great. Um, anywho, uh, she had told me, she said, no, you're gonna need a lot of button-up shirts because it's going to be a hot minute before you can raise your arm up over your head to get a t-shirt on. Okay. Noted. So we ran to the... Ran. We ran. <laughs> we ran to the thrift store and I got some button-up shirts. I'll probably show you all that haul here in just a minute. We left there. We went and ate Chinese. It was delicious. Um, we went to the food outlet and got some meat and some drinks and stuff. I'll show y'all that in a minute. And then we went to Walmart and did the rest of my weekly grocery shopping. Y'all, they were cleaned out. No bread to be had other than $7 a loaf. I am not kidding. $7 a loaf Sara Lee bread. $7. I finally looked down at the very bottom shelf in the back. They had two loaves of just wheat bread, wheat sandwich bread, Walmart brand. Said it was a dollar a loaf. Yes, my kind of price. It rang up 98 cents. So I was excited about that. No eggs to be had other than $7 a dozen, $6.98 a dozen. Cage free brown organic eggs. Go ahead and say $7 a dozen. What the heck? So I did not get any eggs. I did not get any milk. There was no milk to be had. Not even 1%. I mean, you know, I've had to do that before. We got like skim milk or something. It was doable, but not. Mm. So, luckily, we have a gallon. We just kind of opened. We we're really going to have to do the sniff test with it because it was dated, I think, like the 14th. But we just opened it. So, maybe. I don't know. Anywho, I'm going to spin y'all around and show you what we got from the Walmart. Um, and I'll, I'll explain some of the convenience foods. Um, I needed some mixed vegetables, so I got two bags. These were 88 cents. I was so excited. Got two of those. I've got some already cooked chicken in the freezer, and I think I have one box of pie crust left. So chicken pot pies are in our future. Um, I got this Stouffer's. We've had this before. The most I've ever paid for this was $12.98, like $12 something like that. It's the party size chicken enchiladas. This has the rice at the bottom. The family size does not. It's just the enchiladas. So the party size had, has the rice, and it is delicious. Y'all, it's gone up in price to $16.82. Good land of living. But it's a convenience food. We would spend more than that if we went to a Mexican restaurant. That's kind of how I'm justifying some of these purchases. We'd spend more than that if we were going out to eat. So, there you go. Um, in this first week of my surgery, I'm trying to make things as easy as possible. So that's going to be for Tuesday night for Mexican night. 
um, I got some garlic bread sticks. It's been a hot minute since we've had the bread sticks. So I got those. Um, I could not find meatballs. I was going to do spaghetti and meatballs one night. I've got some um, spaghetti and meatballs in the freezer. I can take out and see about heating up. And then I've got browned hamburger meat. I can add to pasta sauce if I need to. Um, I got a thing of tea bags. I don't know how good these are going to be. We're used to the orange pea coat and black tea, tea leaves. So we'll see how that works. I don't know. Um, gallon freezer bags, the 40 count, because I was completely out. We'll keep going this way and then I'll go back around. Um, a thing of Caesar's grapes. Yes, please, they looked wonderful. They are. Ooh, they're good. Extra crispy fast food fries. It's a four pound bag. Yeah, four pound. These are delicious. If y'all have never tried these, they're good. Got some brown and served sausage links. I didn't want to. Well, now we can't have a breakfast supper. I don't have any dead burn eggs. Um, frosted flakes. We were completely out of cereal. So I got frosted flakes. And then I got some mini wheats. Well, the malto meal version of mini wheats. Um, cake mixes. I got two yellow cake mixes. These were only 98 cents a box. And Belinda, I did find the spice cake mix in the store. They said they didn't have any, but that was a lie. Like you said, they've got all the seasonal baking stuff in the middle of an aisle. And um, these were on there. They were $1.98 a box. But I'm anxious to try that with the dump cake. Um, we're almost out of honey, so I've got a honey bear. I did go ahead and get some more canned pumpkin puree. Um, I got the bigger cans. I got three of them. They did not have the 15 ounce. 15 ounce would have been a dollar forty-two. These were two, two sixty-eight, I believe. The Libby small can was two ninety-eight. So I went ahead and just got the big can. Um, canola oil spray, Gala apples. I got some sub rolls. These were what, three forty-eight. We're going to have some steak them one day. Uh, Philly cheese steaks. Not steak them, but a different brand. Anywho, Q-tips. Fat Man picked these out. I would not have gotten the name brand, but anywho, it is what it is. Two of the Jack's Supreme Pizzas. One for cheese pizza. The two loaves of bread. A thing of spring mix to do a salad, or several salads, and for like lunches and stuff. Paper plates, I said I was not going to buy any more paper plates, because it's kind of a waste of money. These were $13, like 12, 12 something. Good gravy for 200 plates. Oh, girl. And uh, then I'd seen these on their website, Walmart, the grocery site instant pot fall off the bone rib packet and it tells you like the, what to add what you're going to need and the instant pot directions yes please and then there was a Mississippi roast one and same thing it gives you what you're going to need and instant pot instructions so hey, hey. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Doing good. And then a grill mates, brown sugar and bourbon marinade mix. I'm going to use on some pork chops, I do believe. Um, it doesn't say like just beef or it's shown where it's with beef. I'm sure I can use it on pork chops or chicken. So there you go. So that is our Walmart haul. My menu plan for 
at least this first week. Could not believe we spent 130. What's my receipt? 132.16 is what we spent. Yeah. And our menu plan for the week, I kind of did it roughly with my grocery list. Um, we're going to do hamburger helper, rolls, and salad Monday night. Enchilada meal. Cheese dip and chips. I did not get chips. I forgot. Crap it. Tuesday night. Um, Publix, we're going to stop it and get some fried chicken and mashed potatoes and green beans that night. Um, Thursday, we're going to do barbecue sandwiches and fries. Friday night, pizza. Saturday and Sunday, chili. And for lunch, we'll probably do the Philly cheesesteaks. So, that is that. And then the following week, I was going to do the chicken pot pie and uh, the spaghetti and a couple other things. I just kind of went ahead and figured out for like this week and the following week. Yeah. Yeah. So, let me get this stuff put away and then I'll show you what we got at the food outlet. Okay, now for our food outlet haul, um, I got two 12 packs of sodas. They had them like right as you were walking in the front area. Um, a 12 pack for $3.56. So, we got draft root beer and then the red pop. And the red pop is like strawberry flavored. Um, yeah, I'm going to put those in the beverage fridge here in a little bit and then we got meat um, I noticed on the sale ad they had a three pack of pork spare rib slabs there are three slabs in here a dollar ninety five a pound so for three slabs we paid twenty seven sixty seven the other spare ribs one slab was $30 because they were like five something a pound. So, heck yeah. That's one thing I got the Instapot pull apart ribs for. I'm going to do um, some of these in the Instapot. Like one slab. One slab. One slab should be enough for you, men, bees, shouldn't it? Right. Okay. Um, then they had a five pound bag. Uh, chicken wings, yeah, five pounds of chicken wings for seven dollars and seventy-seven cents. So I got two bags of those because you cannot beat that price with a stick. Um, when Dixie wanted sixteen ninety-nine for a forty-ounce box, a bag, which forty would be. Little about two and a half pounds. Yeah. Yeah. So two and a half pounds for sixteen ninety nine, or a five pound for seven seventy seven. Heck yeah. Um, I did get the regular sliced value bacon. It was three something a pack. I don't care if it's full slices or not. I have noticed though it went up in price, but it came down in size. It's a twelve ounce pack. Still in the same size box. Still looks like a one pound thing of bacon. But it's now 12 ounces. And I'm shocked they put it that big a print. Usually they'll, you know, make it like little so you don't notice there's a change in the size. And then I got a um, shoulder roast. It was on sale for $3.37 a pound. I got this one for $5.80. It's a small one compared to usually the roast that I do, but we are out of our cow. We used up all of our cow that we had. So, I'm now having to buy beef. And so, we're going with price. So, everybody will get a little bit, but there you go. <clears throat> Alright, so that's my food outlet haul. Let me get this put away, and I'm running out of freezer space. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
Okay, for the thrift store, these are mine. Like I said, I had to get button ups. I love this gingham. I'm in for anything gingham. I'm up in its business. So I got that. Um, this green one. I, I love the color and the just the way it buttons up. The neck. Yeah, it's not buttoned right. But that's okay. Um, I just made sure that each top had the buttons for the buttonholes. Wasn't missing any. I like that one. It's a button up. All mine are button ups. Um, this was the very first one I found. It's kind of like a three quarter sleeve. Carabas said it hurt her eyes. Um, and I love this one. It's got like flowers and bees embroidered on it. And it's like this is the over over part, the blue jean, and then it's got a red that buttons up with the little flower details. Isn't that cute? It was a dollar ninety nine. And I just thought that was so cute. It's a white stag, which is Walmart brand, but I don't mind. For a dollar ninety nine and it's precious. Now this is a man's. It's a four X large. Fat man found it for me. Gingham again. And he put it up to my back, and Carol Beth said it came up almost to my knees. So, this can be a dress. Yes, please. And then the last one that I got is this one. It's stretch, which I need stretch for sure. And then I did get me one pair of jeans. I only have one pair of jeans that I can fit into. I was going to say, please tell me these aren't button fly. They are not. They're a jagging. I know, right? 24 petite. That's why I got them. They are a petite. It's hard to find a big girl's in a petite. Usually if you're a big girl, you, you there's no petite. But there you go. That man, I got him. I picked these out for him because, sweet Jesus, if I see him in another gray shirt, I'm going to scream. This is a Wrangler. And it was only $4.69. And I loved it. I love the color. It's like a faded red. A faded denim red. I picked this out for him. It's bright. These are Halloween colors. Orange, black, and white. So, I loved it. And then, this one. I think it says, yeah, this is its last one. It's a red, white, and blue one. I loved it. It's short sleeve. But it fiddles. And then he picked out a new hat. Irrigation supply. It was only two ninety nine, and then he got him some new socks. So he's always needing socks. That man, I don't know what he does with them. I think he eats them. But that is our thrift store haul. We spent a total of sixty two dollars and seventy eight cents. 545 of that was tax. Really and truly, we only spent 57.33 and then tax, and I'm sweating like I'll get out. Yes, please. Oh, girl. <laughs> but that's all our hauls that we did thrift store, food outlet, Walmart, and we just did it in reverse order because that's how we got crap out of the car. Okay, and that's, I guess, going to do it for tonight. So, be good, be sweet. Don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. Share, play nice with others. And if you need bail money, Big Mama got you. Thanks to all of our new viewers. Hey, Hines, you into crazy now. <laughs> Once you get in, you can't get out. <laughs> so, until next time, bye, y'all.